Hello, everybody. Hello, hello. Hello. Hello, teacher. How are you? Sure. Sorry that I was I was finishing the class. Por ahí me tenían atrapada, atrapada en una clase. I was finishing the class. How are you today, my dear students? Good evening. Good evening. I was checking that some of you are in the traffic. They say, teacher, voy de camino y no me puedo conectar. Me conectaré cuando llegue. No tengo inter. Lléjeme a ti. <laughs> okay, poor Katy. No tiene inter. Y los testigos no les resuelve. Okay, hello. Welcome to... Welcome to your final class. Oh my God, I know. <laughs> it was so quick. Wow. Yo no, sé, yo no sé usted, pero yo siento que hace como dos días le dije, hi, good morning, good evening, welcome to your class and everything. And now I am here like, oh, this is your last class of basic. <laughs> my God, los adultos of pre-intermediate. <laughs> no, yeah, that would, that would be perfect, right? Pijama, vamos a hacer aquí. A la una de la mañana, bueno, vamos a dormir. <laughs> vamos a hablar inglés del sueño. Yeah, perfect English, perfect English. Yo les digo que ya con sueño y con, con sueño y con champaña hablan bien bonito. <laughs> That's what I always say. That's what I always say, right? Okay, ¿qué? Fresco de tamarindo, papá. Con fresco de tamarindo. Acá tamarindo. Ya tiene unos cuantos. <laughs> Con fresco de tamarindo ya hablan bien bonito. <clears throat> well, my dear students, today we are going to work a little bit on reading and then we are going to work a little bit on the presentations that we are going to have. And for sure, we are going to close uh, the section with that, okay? We are going to close with the little presentations that we are going to to have about uh, your first day of classes, right? We are going to work a little bit on some questions, and then we are going to talk a little bit about a biography. How do you make a biography? And this is, this is going to help you because you are going to do this later on, and we are going to start with that. Okay, vamos a empezar con eso. How do you create a biography? How do you make it? A biography, for sure, it's going to be made up something that keeps all the information about a person, right? It keeps all the information about what you have done. And I am going to show you one example. Okay, let me open it for you. And it's right here. Let me find one. Okay. Here it goes. I will show it to you right now. Okay. Do you recognize this person? Adele. It's Adele, right? It's Adele. And we have, what is her name? Her name is Adele Lori Blue Atkins. That is her complete name. When was she born? She was born on May 5th, 1988. Very good. Where was she born? Where? Where was she, was she born? born? She was born in Tottenham. Tottenham. She was born Tottenham. in Tottenham, London, London, England. England. Where did she study? She studied the bill. No, she studied at the British School. <laughs> at the British School. British School of, of Performing of Arts. Arts. Of Croydon. Who is her musical influence? Her musical influence. Her musical influence is Ella Fitz. 
Fitzgerald. Fitzgerald, yes. What are her main works? Her main, her work. main works are the album 19, 19 and 21. 21. What prizes did she win? She won eight Grammys Awards and three Brit Awards. Okay, she won three uh, eight Grammys and three Brit Awards. Okay, if you think about this, right? This is general information about Adele. If you change this information for your information, we are going to use this part. Vamos a usar solamente una part. And we are going to use this this section okay we're going to use only this section and in here okay we're going to use only this part and i need you to use this one for yourself okay si tu eres obviamente una chica what is her name y vas a hablar de ti en tercera persona and you say her name is nati Evelyn Natalie Monterrosa de Flores. When was she born? Okay, hablando de mí en tercera persona. Ah, she was born on September 15, 1984. Where was she born? She was born in Santa Ana, El Salvador. Where did she study? She studied at the British, uh, no, she studied at the National University of El Salvador because I am talking about me. She studied at National University in Santa Ana, okay? And I need you to write about you, okay? Necesito que agarren esta información, estas cuatro preguntas acerca de ustedes. Si obviamente, si tú no eres chica y eres un chico, what is his name, okay? ¿Por qué? Porque vamos a ocupar el ejemplo basado en ti, pero en tercera persona. Ok, si eres un chico, decimos, what is his name? Y aquí sería, his name is, his name is David. For example, David, Rafael, Ramos, etc., etc. When was he born? Ok, si estamos hablando de un chico, when was he born? Vamos a ocupar estas cuatro preguntas. En tercera persona, acerca de ti mismo. Answer. The four questions. Go ahead and write it down. Write the four questions about you. Y aquí abajo todavía podríamos incluir otra pregunta. We can say. Where. Did. She. Work. Where did she work? If you are talking about me, right? Where did she work? And we can say, for example, uh, when did she got married? Cuando se casó? Cuando trabajó? Where did she work? And you can say, ah, you can say she worked at Inglés Corporativo. She worked at Inglés Corporativo. Imagine that you are talking about me, right? When did she, oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. I made a big, big, big mistake here. Okay, I am going to erase this one because I had the auxiliary already. When did she, get married cuando se casó when did she get married and we can use the example here 
she got married. On October first, twenty eleven. Okay, that can be another example. Okay. I have questions here. Good night, Mr. In casa, so we start escucha. Okay, Reina, thank you very much. So you add, I added two more questions, right? ¿Dónde trabajó y cuándo se casó? Si ustedes no están casados o no se han casado todavía, say, when did she get married? And you say, she is not married yet. Okay, no está casada todavía. Y si estamos hablando de un hombre, decimos, he is not married yet. Okay, those are the two examples. He is not married yet. Okay, in this case, like, no se ha casado aún. Para un hombre. Copy the questions according to your information. Okay. When you have it ready, let me know. Cuando hayan terminado, me avisa. Yeah. Okay. Wendy, compártanos su mini biografía. Okay. Solo la respuesta. Solo la respuesta. Yes. Her name is Wendy Lizette Hernandez Agreda. She was born on December 13, 1976. Good. She was born in San Salvador, El Salvador. She studied at the University Tecnológica. The Technological University. Technological University. Uh, she worked in the Scotiabank. She got married on May 19, no, 19, 1995. Okay, yes. 1995, yes. Only. Oh, you, you were very young, right? ¿Cuántos años tenía? Cuando me casé. Ajá. Dieciocho. <ríe> bueno. My goodness. Dieciocho. Pero llevo felizmente todos estos veintisiete años casados. Wow, congratulations. What a beautiful story. Yay. Clubs for Wendy. You did a very good job. You Eso es el mismo. <ríe> Eso le iba a preguntar, pero bueno. Sí, sí buena morada el mismo. Ese. Very good. Excellent job, Wendy. Nice biography. Nice creation of your biography. Good job. Who's next? ¿Quién nos comparte la segunda? Ok, who's the next one? ¿Quién sigue? Todos lo van a hacer, así que tienen que pasar al siguiente. Ajá, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, ¿Quién sigue? Thank you, Adriana. Go ahead. Solo la respuesta, ¿verdad? Yes, only the answers. Ok. Her name is Ursula Adriana Burgos Enríquez. Um, she was born on February 2. And 2002. Um, she was born in El Salvador, Tonacatepeque. She studied. Okay. In El Salvador. Primero vamos desde lo más adentro hasta lo más grande. Okay. She was born in Tonacatepeque, El, El Salvador. Salvador. Uh -huh. ah, okay. Continue. She was born in Tonacatepeque, El Salvador. Very good. She studied at the Instituto Nacional de Tonacatepeque. Okay, in the National Institute of Tonacatepeque. Okay, she works at a restaurant. Okay. She's not married yet. 
She is not married yet. Very good. Ursula, Adriana, nice job. Reactions for Adriana. Well, she did a very nice job, exactly like Wendy Lee said. Who's next? Quien sigue? Thank you, Adriana. Thank you, Wendy. Who's next? Cinco, cuatro, tres, dos, one. Thank you, Jorge Francisco. No llego a cinco porque no quieren que lo escojan. Jorge Francisco, vamos. His name is Francisco. He was born on April 10, 1995. He was born in La Libertad del Salvador. Mm -hmm. Studied at the Margarita Durán. He's worked at Calleja. He's not married yet. Okay, he's not married yet. Okay, soltero is sin compromiso. Okay, he's not married yet. Excellent, Jorge. Nice job. Nice job, Jorito. Very good job. So, thank you, Jorge. Thank you, Adriana. Thank you, Lisette. Who's next? We got five, four, three, two, one. Thank you very much, Ana Ruth. Ah, okay. Her, um, okay. Her name is Ana Ruth Perez Leiva. She was born on August 3, 1988. Yes. Um, um, 80, 80. Yeah. <laughs> she was, <laughs> she was born in San Salvador. <laughs> She studied at Matias University. She worked at Consulta SB. And okay. she got married on December 22. Eh, eh, es que yo no me acuerdo cómo se pronuncia este, el año. Ajá, ¿cuál es el año? Me he quedado en blanco, 2018. A 2018. 2018, okay. Or you can say 2018. Sí, eso iba a decir, pero uh -huh. es que no sabía si estaba bien. No, it's correct. You can say 2018. Lo más correcto que después del 2000 para allá, tú era 2001, 2002, uh -huh. 2003. But you can also say 2018, and that's also okay. correct. Okay, good. Very okay. nice. Ana Ruth, nice. Nice presentation. Very good job. Who's next? Bye. Me. David Rafael, vamos. Okay. His name is David Rafael Ramos Valdez. He was born on January 24th. He, he was born in San Salvador, El Salvador. Mm -hmm. He studied at It Cafe Padre. Good. He worked at a workshop. He is not married yet. He is not married yet. Thank you, David Rafael. Very good job. A nice presentation. Very good. Who's next? Who's next? We go in five, in four, in three, in two, in one. Thank you, Mirna. Good night, teacher. Hello. And her name is Jasmine Portillo. She was born on August 13, 19, 1985. 1985. She was born, she was born in San Salvador. Where did she where did she study? Uh, she study at the Technological University. Mm -hmm. Where where did she work? She worked at Simacu. Where did she get? Um, she is not married yet. She is not married yet. Very nice, Mirna. Nice job. Nice job. Thank you. Teacher. Thanks. Thanks. Thanks a lot. Who's next? Who's next? Thank you, Sandrita Beatriz. Yo la veo con ganas de participar. Go, Sandrita. Se me disparó la pantalla. Fue sin querer. It's okay, it's okay. Es el feeling de querer participar. Yo, teacher. Nervio. Go ahead, Sandra. Her name is Sandra Melara. She was born on December 30. Perfect. 30, uh-huh. 
Uh, she was born in San Salvador, El Salvador. Good. Uh, she studied in Liceo de de Mayo. And she worked as uh, distributora de productos médicos, no sé cómo se dice. Okay, medical and okay, medical instruments. I don't know, something like that. And it's like I think it's a medical instruments provider, something like that. Provider is a distributor. Okay, medical instruments provider. Um, I got married in no November 2009. In November 2009, okay. Sí. Okay, that's it. Very good. Comenzamos. No, terminamos. <laughs> Excellent. Thank you, Sandrita. Reactions for Sandrita. She did a very good job. Let's go with Guadalupe. Guadalupe. Después de Guadalupe, Cynthia. Después de Cynthia, Roberto. Después de Roberto, Laura. Después de Laura, Diana. Y después de Diana, Eric. Y de ahí escojo los demás. Vamos. Um, hello. Uh, her name is Sebastiana Guadalupe Aguilar Hernandez. She was born on May 24th, uh, 2023. No, I'm sorry. 19... <laughs> I said, like, what? 19... No, I'm sorry. 1979. <laughs> okay. Okay. Um, she was born in San Salvador. Um, she studied only English for the moment. Uh, she worked at. Um, she worked in Cojutepeque, in a private clinic, and she is not married. Yeah. She is not married yet. Very good job. She is not married yet. Okay. Thank you. Claps for Guadalupe. This, 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 this. Very good job. Reactions for Guadalupe. A ver, las reacciones donde están, donde están reacciones. Here I have them. Very good job. Oh, very good job. Let's go with Cynthia. Good evening. Hello. Her name is Cynthia Marisol Mejia Rodriguez. She was born on December 2nd, 1998. She was born in Cusco, Cusco El Salvador. She studied at the University of El Salvador. She is a Mary Jack. She is not married yet. Very good job. Thank you, Cynthia. Reactions for Cynthia, people. And here we go. Let's continue with Mr. Roberto. Hello, good night. Hello. His name is Roberto Carlos. He was, he was born on May 12, uh, 1984. 1984. 1984. Um, he was born in San Salvador, El Salvador. He studied at University Technology. Technological uh, University. He worked at Correo, El Salvador. He got married on June 11, 2022. Okay, June 11, 22. Last year. El yes. año pasado. Ay, qué lindo está. Ese matrimonio está tiernito. That's no, so pero ya llevaba, ya llevaba 15 años. Ah, 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 ah bueno. Ah, pues ya estaba bien pero cocinado. Sí. Eh. Ya Exacto. That was good. Thank you. Thank you, Robert, for sharing. Very beautiful. Laura Lisset, go ahead. Laurita. Eh, bueno. What is she name? She is Laura Peña. When was she born? She was born on August 6th of the 2000s. Where was she born? She was born in Mexicano, San Salvador, in El Salvador. Where did she study? She studied at the Mangini Institute. No sé cómo se dice instituto. Institute. 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 Where did she work? She worked in Xiaomi. Okay. When did she get married? She is not married yet. She is not married yet, right? You work at Xiaomi. Very good job. Reactions, please, for Laurita. 
Nice job, Laurita. Eh, Diana Beatriz, she, she said that, yo por ahí leí en el chat. Oh, va para el hospital con su niño. I am very sorry. Okay, Dianita. Eh, let's go with Eric Javier. Hello. Este, Hello. Her name is Eric Ventura. He was born on June eh, 16. Um, he was wrong, born in Morazán, El Salvador. Um, he studied at the National Institute July 14. Um, he worked at Destillery Ventura. Um, he is not married yet. Okay, he is not married yet. Ahora entendemos por qué quería quedarse hasta la once. <laughs> He is not married yet. That's very good. Si no, la esposa llega. Eric, anda acostate. <laughs> no, hombre, ni quiera Dios. <laughs> okay, good. Oh, oh, hilo. Ahorita dice, ay, ni quiera Dios. Later on va a ser like, sí, mi amor, ahorita. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it happened. Yeah. No, I'm kidding, yeah. I'm kidding. <laughs> Juanita, it's coming here. Okay, good. Yeah, Thank you. <laughs> Que Dios me libre, dice. Ok, thank you, Eric. Reactions for Eric, please. Excellent job. Let's go with Mr. Oscar. Good evening. Hello. His name is Oscar Cruz. He was born on April 3rd. 3rd? Night. Uh, uh, 1991. 1991. He was, born, uh -huh. Uh -huh. he was born in Anamoros, La Unión. He studied at the Latin American Medical School. He worked at Fosalud. He got married on February 18th, 2023. Oh, yeah, a couple of months ago. Hace unos meses. Hey, casi hubiéramos yeah. ido a esa boda, man. No nos conocimos, sino hubiéramos ido a esa boda. Qué lástima. <laughs> thank you. Thank you, Oscar. What a nice thing. Congratulations on your wedding. That was just a couple of months ago. Excellent reactions for Oscar, please. Very nice. Isela Moss. Ana Isela. Good night. Hello. Good evening. Hello. Yeah. yeah. Her name is Ana Yanis. Perdón. No, 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 continue, ¿Sí? continue, yes, continue. Yes. He was born on January 31, um, 1992. She was born in San Miguel, El Salvador. She studied at the Human University. She worked at university as legal tutor. And she's married yet. She isn't married yet, okay? But she's a legal tutor, okay? Yes. So if you need any assistant, Isela, yes. right? Okay. <laughs> Para los que se quieran casar, con Isela, por favor. Y los que ya yes. no se quieran casar, con Isela también. Yes. <laughs> there you go. Fantastic job. Thank you, Isela. Very good. The dates are important, right? Ya vamos a hacer un repasito ahí de las fechas. Lorena, go ahead. Lorenita. Hey, se me perdió Lorena. La acabo de ver conectada. Okay, and let me see. Who am I missing? David Alejandro. Hola, uh, good evening. Hello. Uh, his name is David Rodriguez. He was born on October 8, 2003. He was born in San Salvador, El Salvador. He he's studied at the University of El Salvador. Uh, he do, he does not work. Okay. And he's not married yet. You are not working yet, but you are not married either. But that's good. Okay. Soon, soon. Ya pronto van a andar trabajando. Good reactions for David Alejandro. Thank you very much. Am I missing someone? Se me queda alguien. Yo sé que Reina está de oyente. 
y que eh, Dianita está de oyente ahorita por el, por el apuro. ¿verdad? Y también, let's see, eh, who else was missing? Right. Juanita acaba de llegar. Hello, Juanita, how are you? Y Josué Abel que va manejando, pues no lo voy a poner ahí. Accidente de trust. Good. But for the rest of you, you did a very fantastic job. You see, it is not difficult to make a presentation. ¿Les costó su presentación? ¿Para qué no? Se estresaron más ayer cuando les dije que iban a presentar de las preguntas y de no sé qué, que no sé cuánto. Y ustedes, ah, paniqueados ahí porque van a presentar de eso. Okay. That, this was a very nice presentation. It was very easy. And you did a very good job on the answers, right? Reina va a enviar el audio más tarde. Dice, muy bien. Excellent. So, good job on your presentation. You did a very nice job. I had my biography ready. Tenía mi biografía lista para ustedes. Pero yo dije, no, they are going to do it later on, right? This is my biography, right? And I was going to give it as an example, right? And this is something that you can create if you want to invent a biography of your own, right? Si ustedes quieren hacer su biografía, ustedes también la pueden armar así. You say like, she is Natalie. Her mother is Carmen. Her father is Ernesto. ¿Por qué no les pongo was en estas dos partes? Porque aún están vivos. Okay? Si usted le pone her mother was, que es que ya no está la mamá. Okay? Her mother is and her father is. She was born in Santa Ana in El Salvador on September 15, 1984. She studied from kindergarten to high school in Chachuapa. And she did her university studies in Santa Ana. She started her teaching life in 2003. And then she worked at Unicaes for five years. Later, she worked at an academy as, and as an interpreter for American visitors. She also worked as a public school teacher and as a teacher for a private program for 10 years. Nowadays, Nati works as a principal in a prestigious academy in San Salvador and as a teacher for Inglés Corporativo with the most amazing students. That's my biography, right? So thanks to all my beautiful students that I have. Aquí salieron todos mis lindos estudiantes a bailar, ¿verdad? Okay. And I said, well, le puedo poner el ejemplo de Adel porque está más fácil. <laughs> This was a little bit long for you to complete. But... This is something that you can do. Okay, toman sus estudios, toman lo que han hecho, toman eh, cómo han hecho las cosas que han hecho en su vida y pueden ir armando su biografía. Les puede servir en algún momento que se presenten en el currículum. Puede servir que ustedes pongan ahí un abstract de lo que han hecho en su vida profesional y laboral. Okay, so it was a very, very beautiful presentation, the one that you did. We are going to finish today with reading. Okay, we are going to finish today with reading, and we are going to work, right? Ya ven que el examen oral fue más bonito así. Así, sin estrés, tranquilo, calmado. That was a good thing, right? Darnos <laughs> cuenta. Ajá, porque ya ven, si les hubiera dicho, este es un examen oral. Se, se hubieran paniqueado todos y les, ta, 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 y no les sale bien. And it was a very good job. We have three stories here. We have Kelly, Robert, and Eddie. We have three different people. Kelly, Robert, and Eddie. And they are talking about the stories that they did on the weekend, right? We are going to start with Kelly, right? We are going to read about Kelly first. And then we are going to read about Robert. And we are going to read at the end about Eddie. I need one volunteer. Well, indeed, I need two. Pueden estar dos voluntarios para el primero. And raise your hand if you need to help me. Okay, if you want to help me, raise your hand. I am going to, I have Jorge Francisco and I have another one that I cannot see. Okay, Jorgito and Oscar. Okay, Jorge and Oscar van a estar a cargo del primero. Okay, we're going to work on this one. And I am going to move it in two parts. This is going to be the first part for Jorge, and this is the second part for Oscar. Vamos, Jorge. Go ahead. Okay. 
I had a great weekend. I went to my best friend, Helen Sweden. She got married at home. All her friends and family. When she looked fantastic, she... She? Uh -huh. Oscar, continue. She wore a beautiful dress. After the ceremony, her parents served a wonderful meal. I'm really happy for her, and I really like her husband. Okay, parents, parents. Parents. After the ceremony, her parents served a wonderful meal. Very good. And she looked fantastic, right? She looked fantastic. Oscar and Jorge, very good job. I need other two volunteers. Necesito otros dos voluntarios. Other two volunteers. Voluntario, pero no democrático. Ana Ruth en Eric. Ok, Ana Ruth en Eric. Ana Ruth comienza con el párrafo rojo y Eric con el verde. Vamos. The same. Sí. Okay. Kelly. I had a great weekend. I went to my best friend, Helen's wedding. She got married at home. All her friends and family went. She looked fantastic. She... Eric? Okay. I uh, wore a beautiful dress after the ceremony. Uh, her parents served. Parents. Her parents. Parents um, served a wonderful meal. Melt? Meal, meal. Melt. I'm really happy for her and really like. Her husband. Husband, right? I am really happy for her and I really like her husband. Okay, vamos a seguir leyendo el mismo párrafo hasta que no nos equivoquemos. Ya corregí la misma palabra dos veces. Parents, parents looked, right? She looked fantastic, right? Ceremony. My best friend Helen's wedding, right? My best friend Helen's wedding. Good. I need other two volunteers. Otro dos voluntarios. Wendy Lisette and, and Ana Isela. Ok, Wendy va con el rojo y Ana Isela con el verde. Hasta que no nos equivoquemos. Ok. I had a great weekend. I went to my best friend Helen's wedding. She got married at home. Are here friends and family went she looked fantastic she looked looked she looked fantastic she, she, wore, <laughs> she wore beautiful dress after the ceremony her parents served a wonderful meal i'm really happy for her and i really like her husband and i really like her husband right she wore a beautiful dress listen listen people for us not to make a mistake I had a great weekend. I went to my best friend Helen's wedding. She got married at home. All her friends and family went. She looked fantastic. She wore a beautiful dress. After the ceremony, her parents served a wonderful meal. I am really happy for her and I really like her husband. Okay, otros dos voluntarios. Que no nos equivoquemos, vamos. Roberto Carlos en Juana Margarita. Ok, Roberto Carlos, vas con el rojo y Margarita con el verde. I think a great weekend. I went to meet, I went to meet best friend. Helen my, Wedding. my best friend. My, perdón, my best friend, Helen Wedding. She got married at home as her friends and family week. When she looked fantastic, she she looked looked she looked she looked fantastic. She, she okay, Juana. Uh, wore a beautiful dress after the ceremony. Ceremony, uh huh. Ceremony, her parents, parents, <laughs> parents. parents. Parents, parents, serve, serve, served, 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 
serve you. A wonderful meal. I am really happy for her and I really like her hus hus husband. Husband, very good, right? She looked fantastic, right? Her parents served a wonderful meal. Let's try with paragraph number two. Vamos a irnos al párrafo número dos. About Robert, okay? About Robert, the second paragraph that we have here, we are going to divide it as well into two parts, right? And here we have the first paragraph and the second paragraph is going to be here, okay? Okay, good. Volunteers. For number two. Voluntarios para el número dos. My volunteers for number two. Pueden repetir, ya es, es otro párrafo. No podemos repetir. Okay, Oscar and Wendy. Vamos. I had an awful weekend. My friends and I went to a rock concert. I had a terrible time. It took three hours to drive there. I didn't like the music at all. I didn't like the music at all. Uh -huh. Wendy, listen. Estaba en el otro. <laughs> and after the concert ended, uh -huh. our car broke down. I called my parent, parents and they come and got us. We finally got home at 10 this morning. I am so tired. I am so tired, right? I am so tired. It's like, our car broke down. Our car broke down. Nuestro carro se arruinó, right? Our car broke down. I called my parents, right? I called my parents and they came and got us, right? And they came and got us. We finally got home at 10 this morning. I am so tired, right? Very good job. Thank you, Oscar. Thank you, Wendy. Let's continue with other two volunteers. Necesito otro dos voluntarios para el mismo number two. Okay, Eric and who else? Eric y quien más? Quien le ayuda a Eric? Me, teacher. Okay, Isela, vamos. I had an awful weekend, my friend, and I went to a, a rock concert. I had a terrible time. It took three hours to drive there. I didn't like the music at, at all, right? At all. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. uh and after the concert ended, our car broke down. I called my parents and they came and got us. Got us and got us. Got us. We finally, finally got home at 10 this morning. I am so tired. I am so tired, right? And let's go here with the last reading. We're going to go with editing, right? With editing. This is our last reading of this paragraph. And we have two parts, right? We're going to have this one. It's the first one. And the second one, it's going to be this one, okay? Two volunteers for editing. two volunteers for airing. Remember the most important thing, people. If you don't know how to say something, ask, okay? Josue Abel, y quien más? Quien le ayuda a Josue? Yo. Okay, thank you, Ana. Vamos. Okay. Comienzo yo, o, o como? Okay, sí, you can start. Hey, okay. Josue, ya estás en tu casa, que chulo. I had an interesting weekend. I went camping for the first time. My friends took me. We left on Saturday and drove to the campsite. To the campsite. Campsite. To the campsite. Continue. First, we put up the rent. They will build a fire. 
cooking, diner, and tall stories. We went up early on Sunday and went fishing. I count. I caught a fish. I, a fish. I did not really like camping, but I learned a lot. But I learned a lot. Okay. This last paragraph, it's a little bit different. It says, I had an interesting weekend. I went camping for the first time. My friends took me. We left on Saturday and drove to the campsite. Okay. The campsite is the place where we camped. First, we put up the tent. To put up the tent. ¿Qué es acción? Put up the tent. ¿Qué significaría esa acción? Levantar. Ajá. ¿Levantar qué? The tent. La tienda de campaña. Exactly like that. We put up the tent, right? Levantamos la tienda de campaña. Tent es tienda de campaña. Then we built a fire. What is that? We built a fire. Encendimos fuego. Encendimos fuego. Específicamente, ¿qué se hace en un campamento? Fogata. Exactly, right? We built a fire. Cook dinner and told stories, right? We got up early on Sunday and went fishing. Fishing, right? When you cut a fish, right? We went fishing. The next one, I cut a fish. I didn't really like camping, but I learned a lot, okay? This person didn't enjoy camping at all, right? I didn't really like camping, but I learned a lot, right? No me gustó ir a campar, pero yeah. Tell me, from the three stories, do you like parties? Do you like concerts? Or do you like camping? What is something that you prefer? Parties? Concerts? Or camping? Camping. Camping. <laughs> Camping. Who likes concerts? A nadie le gustan los conciertos. I like concerts. I like concerts too. Uh -huh. Who else? No one. Who likes parties? No, I like camping. You like <laughs> camping, okay? So you don't like parties, right? It's like, mm, no. Cuando uno tiene I'm hijos, se olvida de las fiestas. <laughs> Yeah, it's like, mamá, vámonos, tengo sueño, tengo hambre. Qué bulla. Ya tenemos mucha edad para fiestas. Tranquilita, porque nunca me gusta en la fiesta. Oiga, el señor ha hablado. Oscar, how old are you? ¿Cuántos años tenés, Oscar? 32. Pues sí, está señor. Me voy de aquí. I am 30, almost 39, lo que llevo llegando a los 39, y me encantan las fiestas, yo, si nadie está bailando, yo, allá me van a ver en medio de la pista. Forever la, young. Yeah, I say like, y Nati, en la pista de baile. <laughs> Bájenla de ahí. Yeah, it's like, <laughs> it's like, mamá, bájate de la mesa. <laughs> That would be me, definitely. I love parties. I love dancing. I love all this relajo. I love it. Well, before everything, yeah, I, yeah. Yo creo que no lo dudan. Antes que nada pase, le voy a pasar lista antes de pasar a la, a la última actividad. Ana Isela. Present teacher. Ana Ruth. Present. Brian Francisco. Hey, Brian, Brian, Brian. Ah, Brian, creo que me escribe en el chat. Okay, there we go. Uh, let's continue with Carlos Ernesto. Cynthia Marisol. Present. Thank you. David Alejandro. Here. Thank you. David Rafael. David Cito Rafael. Present. Thank you. Uh, Diana Beatriz. Oh, Dianita, andaba por el doctor. Uh, Diego Rodrigo. Hey, Diego Rodrigo, no lo vi ni conectado ahora de oyente. ¿Qué está pasando? ¿Cómo es posible ese suceso? We have Diego Rodrigo. Ok, Diana Beatriz, ahí está, mi Dianito presente. Muy bien. Eh, let's continue with Eric Javier. Hello, hello, present. Fatima Ivín. Fatimita Ivín. Hoy no está conectada. 
haber tenido turno. Eh, Jorge Francisco. Present teacher. Thank you. Ay, hasta, hasta acá y se lo vimos. Eh. Josué Abel. Present teacher. Thank you very much. Juana Margarita. Present teacher. Catherine Jamilet. Catherine Jamilet. Okay. And let's see. Laura Lisset. Present teacher. Lorena Raceli. Eh, Birna Yasmin. Present. Oscar Otoniel. Present. Reina Yael. Reinita, por ahí estaba conectada de oyente. Eh, Roberto Carlos. Present. Sandra Beatriz. Present. Sebastiana Guadalupe, se le fue la luz a mi pobre niña. Eh. Tatiana Abigail. Tati. Tatiana, ¿dónde estás? En eh, Úrsula Adriana. Present. Thank you. En Wendy Lisset. Here. Very good job. Thank you very much. Well, let's go back here and let's finish this exercise. I need you to find a specific words. Le voy a dar una palabra y me la buscan donde está en qué párrafo, okay? The word is, me tienen que decir la oración completa, okay? The word is broke. Broke. Our car broke down. Very good job. The next one, camping. I, I didn't really food. like camping. <laughs> I didn't really like camping or I went camping. The next one, looked. She looked fantastic. Ooh. Very good. Morning. At then this morning. Okay, and at 10 this morning. The next yeah. one, interesting. I had an interesting weekend. Very good. The next one, music. I didn't like, like the music. I didn't like the music. Very good. The next one. Uh, husband. <laughs> and I really like it. And I really like this. Yeah, esta oración está un poco tricky, right? Like, ay, qué bonito y me gustó su esposo. Ay, It's like, like, ah, really? <laughs> Saquen a la Kelly de la boda. <laughs> Comadres. <laughs> Socia. <laughs> Socia. La Socia, right? The next one. Awful. I had, an I had an awful weekend. Very good. Stories. And told stories. stories. Okay, and told stories. The next one. And the last one. Campsite. Campsite. I drove, and drove to, to the, the campsite. campsite. I drove to the campsite. Very good job. I drove to the campsite. And according to this one, I have here a couple of questions. And it says, Kelly got married. Is this correct? No, because it's Kelly's best friend got married. Kelly got, sorry, Helen got married in a church. No, in the house. She got married? She married in the house. She got married, ¿cómo dice ahí? At home. At home, at home right? She got married at home. So you say, Helen got married at, at home. home. Number three, after the wedding, everyone went out to eat. The sentence is, after the wedding, Everyone went out to eat. Todos se fueron a comer. False. It's false because her parents served a wonderful meal. Excellent. After the ceremony, her parents served a wonderful meal. Very good job. Let's go with the next one. Robert went to a rock concert with his parents. False, false. False. 
How he would went you to a rock concert with his friends. With his friends, right? He went with his friends. It's like, papa, hombre, aplauda, brinque. <laughs> my father it's really crazy exactly like me so <laughs> no i think I, i am exactly like him so he will be like Papa, I said, listen. <laughs> that would be me okay he went to the concert with his friends robert got home at 10 o'clock last night At 10 this morning. At 10 this morning, right? He was very mañaneado. What about? <laughs> he, he arrived Bien home. <laughs> he went to the next day, thanks to the car, right? Very good. So let's continue here. Erin goes camping every weekend. Erin goes no. camping every weekend. He was her first time. it was her first time right and the last one because she said i really i didn't really like camping, camping. Right? she's not like lindo amé el weekend right now thank you erin and her friends went fishing on saturday well, false false when did they go fishing Sunday. On, Sunday. on Sunday, right? They went fishing on Sunday. Erin like camping a lot. No. <laughs> eh, no. She said she, uh, I didn't really like camping. But... I didn't really like camping, right? So that was her expression. It was like, I oh, teacher, I didn't really like camping. It was really horrible. It was really awful. So that was the experiences about the weekend as you can see this is the way that you can express how uh, something happened or what did you do so if you tell me for example about your last weekend you say i had a beautiful weekend you can say i visited my mother i went to church i cooked dinner for my family right and then you can describe así así como armamos las oraciones en pasado podemos ir armando los parrafitos. I had a beautiful week and I did this and that and later and after this, right? So you can create also your stories. No quedarnos solamente con escribir oraciones, sino que armar párrafos chiquitos, así como este, right? I had a beautiful weekend. I had a great day. The recommendation of the journal, okay? La recomendación de tener un journal, un diario personal, que hacemos todos los días, okay? General things, right? It can be very helpful for you. So let me just finish with this one. I will go down here. Okay. We were studying this one yesterday, right? And for sure, this is what you were supposed to do, right? Por aquí teníamos esto. Okay. This was just the practice. Did you have it ready? Yes or no? I need two volunteers to give me their explanations. Como ya hicieron su presentación eh, oral, necesito dos voluntarios que me compartan sus respuestas. Wendy, go ahead. Okay. Solo las respuestas, Matich. Yes, only the answers. I wore a pink shirt and, the, and my hair up. Uh -huh. I was on time in the class. <laughs> I sat at the desk in my room. I felt excited. I met the teacher, Nati. <laughs> She yeah. talked about a review and took attendance. Francisco talked the most on the class and Brian was the last. Eso me los inventé porque no yeah. quién. <laughs> my, English, my English was not very fluent, fluent and now I can read better. Hey, nice job, Wendy. Reactions for Wendy in her beautiful paragraph. Mr. Eric is going to be our next volunteer. Go ahead. Okay. Um, on my first day of school, wear a black shirt. Okay. He came to my class. I was in my room 
I was excited. I meet the teacher Nati. The teacher uh, introduced herself in um, scolded me for having having the camera oh. front of the teacher I spoke more um, my English has improved with the help of the best teacher. Thank you, teacher Nat. Oh my goodness, what a beautiful paragraph. Thank you, Eric, very nice job. Well, my dear class, it has been such a great pleasure to share every single night with you, okay? La hora de las nueve a las diez ha sido la más divertida de todos estos días. Me ha encantado estar con ustedes. So, thank you very much for all your work. I know that you have finished the platform. Todos terminamos plataforma. Todos terminamos con todo. Y pues con progreso y todo estamos al 100. So, eh, materiales, documentos que nos hagan falta, démosle seguimiento, porque si no escríbanme, pues yo les colaboro ahí con el, con el seguimiento. Siempre el primero es el encargado y obviamente si tenemos alguna otra duda que aclarar, yo les colaboro. Okay. Have a beautiful night, my dear students, and I am crossing fingers to see you on the next class next week. Have a wonderful night. Enjoy and rest. Thank you for being so great, students. Okay. Thank bye you. Bye. Practice your English. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Thank, bye -bye. Thank, bye -bye. Thank you. Have a beautiful night. Thank you, teacher. Thanks for all, teacher. Thanks to you. See you in the next class, okay? Bye-bye. 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 Take care.